visible light, just like all of the other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, is a wave. And the different colors represent waves which have different wavelengths. We've seen that the wavelength is a distance from one peak of a transverse wave to the next, or it could be from one part to where the wave starts to repeat itself again. And it's usually given the symbol lambda. Now the, the wavelength will determine the color. So in this case, for red light, we've got a wavelength of about 700 nanometers. So we have lambda equals 700 nanometers. Uh, what does nano mean? Well, that is times 10 to the power of minus 9. So we actually have 700 times 10 to the power of minus 9 meters, which is pretty small. The frequency of the wave is telling us how many oscillations happen every second, or how many oscillations pass, pass by a point every second. And that's measured in hertz. So the frequency of red light, for example, is about 450 terahertz. Now tera means times 10 to the power of 12. So that's 450 times by 10 to the power of 12 hertz. That's a lot of oscillations per second. Um, a lot of wobbles per second. So as the wavelength decreases, we get different colors. Violet, for comparison, has a wavelength of 400 nanometers, so a much smaller wavelength than red, and a frequency of about 750 terahertz, so it oscillates much faster than red. Now there's a couple of words which are useful to understand about visible light, and the first word is monochromatic. Monochromatic. Mono means one, and chromo, or chromatic in this case, is meaning color. So this just means you've got a wave of one specific wavelength. One specific wavelength. And that means it'll have a specific frequency. So that's monochromatic. The other word which you might meet uh, is called coherent. Coherent and coherent waves or coherent light means that all of the waves that come from the source are vibrating and oscillating in the same way. Now these guys are non-coherent because that one's going down when this one's going up. So coherent waves all vibrate, all oscillate in the same at the same time. And we say that they are in phase. But the word which you need to remember is monochromatic, one specific wavelength. Let's take a look at this flashcard. It's pretty straightforward. Light of a single frequency, which will also be of a single wavelength. Is called monochromatic one color. And in this case, we have red. Monochromatic sources can be from lasers, which will only give you a, a, a light beam of one frequency, of one wavelength, 